Over the next four minutes, you'll get a first glance of Komunda Optimize, an extension of Komunda BPM. Together, we'll take a look at a process and start to discover what Optimize can do. Once we've logged in, we get an overview of all our process definitions along with the latest versions. This comes in handy when managing multiple definitions and versions. Now, let's imagine that in the next month, we need to hire a team of five software developers to build a new product. In order to hire the best candidates as fast as possible, we'll optimize our hiring process. So let's get started together. Here, we see a process diagram and a view and filter menu. To have a benchmark for our hiring goal of five software developers, we'll first want to see how many candidates came through the pipeline and were hired in the last 30 days. The variable filter will help us effortlessly sort our hiring process by position, in this case, software developer. And let's select the start date filter to choose the last 30 days. To now find our benchmark, we'll use the branch analysis view. We can select an end event, candidate hired, and a gateway, proceed after screen application. From here, we can see how many candidates did or did not proceed to the conduct phone interview task and the conversion rate of those who proceeded, which is 6.38%. We also automatically get a summary of our process instances and the overall conversion rate of our hiring process at the end event, candidate hired. So we can quickly see that this result is not looking great for our goal of finding five developers. But before we start changing around our process, Let's have a look at why this is happening. Maybe our hiring process is taking too long and we can change a task to increase our conversion rate. We'll use the duration view to find out more. At first glance, with the help of the heat map, we can see that the screen application and conduct phone interview tasks take a similar amount of time. Conduct first on-site interview, however, takes double. So maybe we're losing applicants at this stage as it's taking too long to have a first face-to-face -face meeting, and by then our candidates have cancelled their interviews as they've been hired elsewhere. To double-check this hypothesis, we can first filter by another variable, we'll select Candidate Cancelled, and then we'll choose the Frequency view to see if most people are cancelling at the Conduct First on-site interview task, which is taking us the longest. The data shows us that we're actually losing most candidates at the screen application task and not the conduct first on-site interview task as we initially thought. We'd like to fix this, and for that we can use the target value comparison view. We can easily set a new target of two days, which is about half the actual amount of time we spend screening applicants. Once we set the target, our whole team can clearly see the new target duration in the top right-hand corner, and by hovering over the task, can also review the actual duration of five days and our percentage value above the new target, which is 163%. We'll make a note to monitor the process and check back in a week to see if our percentage goes down, and we'll be able to keep our manager up to date with measurable data and readjust if necessary so that we have the best chance of meeting our goal. So what did we learn about our hiring process? By only looking at the duration view, we believe the conduct first on-site interview task was causing us issues. But by adding filters, we saw that the screen application task should be our focus. And finally, our target value comparison view allowed us to adjust our focus accordingly. As you can see, we've just briefly scratched the surface with what Optimize can do. But there are many functionalities that can provide you with more insights and make sense for your individual process. Now it's your turn to play around and see how you can instantly spot, make improvements, and report on your processes.